Meanwhile, even more shipments of hydroxychloroquine are headed to Florida tomorrow. The anti-malaria drug being touted as a possible treatment for the sickest of coronavirus patients. Good evening once again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am Jawan Strader, field anchoring from my home here in Broward County as we continue to practice social distancing at NBC6. Good evening. I'm Jackie Nespro. Hi, Jawan. NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola is live in Miami with a closer look at the drug and personal testimonial. Jamie? Yeah, a huge shipment of the drug will be here in Florida in a matter of hours. It has shown to work in some patients, but some doctors say it is inexcusable not to think about the side effects of hydroxychloroquine. Really, really. The governor today providing this testimonial from a COVID-19 patient who was treated with the drug hydroxychloroquine. To help you. you guys saved my life, and you know you did. And I'm lucky that you took the time to try, as other places wouldn't have. Ron DeSantis announcing he worked with President Trump and secured a shipment of the drug that's been known to save lives. We got a million doses uh, coming to Tallahassee. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow. That will immediately be sent out to hospitals uh, throughout the state of Florida. The drug is FDA approved for use with patients who have malaria. And while it has shown some success in treating COVID-19, its effectiveness has not been proven. I say try it. Some doctors say not so fast. They'll only use it for the most critically ill patients and would not promote it to everyone. I would certainly give it to someone who's critically ill um, as a last ditch effort. I would probably give it to someone I think who was headed towards being critically ill. Um, I would not prescribe it to anybody who has a fever and a cough, um, you know, coming into my office with kind of baseline coronavirus. The high demand for the drug also creating low supply for lupus patients who've been taking it for years. Immediately I started panicking because I've been taking this medication for three years now. It's the only thing that helps me um, be free of pain and live a normal life. All right, now Broward Health says it is already administering the drug to all of its COVID-19 patients. Reporting live tonight in Miami, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.